Hello, tiny friends and lovers. Welcome to Tiny Rogues. This is a game I covered like a year ago. It's been a while, actually. Uh, when it first came out into early access, it is an action top-down roguelike, and it is absolutely amazing. I've been singing its praises ever since it did come out. We're going to get run started. We're going to start with the warrior. I'm going to be talking as if you don't know the game for those that don't know the game, essentially. So it is a very complex game. Now, even if you haven't checked in on it since it came out, uh, I think like late last year or so, there has been a lot that has happened. There has been at least one major content update that has pretty much over doubled the amount of content in it. It is only $10 right now. It used to be only like $7 even prior to this, I believe. Uh, but it just has a crazy amount of stuff. Weapons, classes, extra biomes, extra bosses. It is just like wild, tons of different, um, you know, room events. Uh, but here is the bread and butter of what's going on here. We play, you know, just like a little character in the bottom corner here. We defeat all the enemies of the room and then we're allowed to leave the room. We get the reward as stated here. So, uh, you can get stats and, the. Uh, Dexterity is going to help us with, it actually kind of says it right here, plus one XP. Once you reach, once you fill your XP bar, you will get to choose between different traits for your level. It can also add weapon damage depending on your weapon, though. You need your weapon needs scaling with Dexterity, like like Souls games, right? Plus uh, attack speed and plus move speed as well. Allow me a cheeky sip of water. I should have had it before I started, you know what I mean? A Soul Heart is sort of like a one-time hit that you can get, so... When I lose this soul heart up here on the top left, it's going to be Gonzo. So it definitely gets like super deep. It is very complex in some ways, a lot like not necessarily to a detriment. No, not necessarily at least. I'm going to take keep taking on the stats. We're going to take some uh, strength here too, which should add some base weapon damage for the most part, I believe. But I'm going to try to introduce things to us as we go instead of stopping and explaining it all at once because, you know, that's something that games can sometimes get wrong, right? Where they just, they dump it all at, at you at the beginning and it's just kind of like, wait, what? what? What happened? You know what I'm saying? So here's our level up. When you collect enough stats, you get to level up. Uh, booze buff effects are permanent and have a 100% increased effect. Going over your tipsiness limit removes the next oldest booze effect instead of hurting you. Interesting. 100% increased effect. That's, that is interesting. On dash, repeat your next attack. Okay, that's okay. Gain 150% critical hit multiplier at close range. I don't really like being at close range. The booze buff kind of sounds fun. The booze buffs can be pretty good. Well, you need to buy booze. This is a cursed wooden chest, so it's like a crappy reward and you get cursed for taking it, so we don't want that. What's the deal in this room? I don't know yet. Have you seen any bunnies around? You haven't. Do you think you will see some on your adventure? Can I join you? Yes. I love the scent of an adventure ahead. Oh, I believe we've got a companion here then. Here's our inventory menu. So here's our weapon, some armor that we have. We'll go over it as the run goes on. Fox berries is our common companion. Summons a fox companion that attacks one time per second, dealing some thrusting melee damage. Each fox grants plus 25% super effective multiplier. Super effective multiplier. You got some explanations on the left side there too, by the way. All right, and then there's just some flavor text, I guess, there. Keep going for stats. This character kind of wants strength a little more. Not necessarily, though. Maybe wants strength some more. Okay. So now here's the boss chamber. We can either get reward includes at least one uncommon item or we can go for charms. I kind of like charms because charms are, you can have up to four of them, but I don't know, I've never even had a run that has anywhere near four. So in terms of gameplay actually, that I probably should have mentioned a little bit sooner. Uh, I mean, you just shoot at the enemies and weapons can be incredibly different. Do not think that this is what every weapon looks like. And then you have a dodge and that's pretty much it for the controls. I'm going to be using mouse and keyboard because anything that requires us to aim in the way that you're looking here at the game, I kind of just slightly prefer mouse and keyboard, but some people uh, were talking in, on Twitch when we were playing earlier today, oh, that they, they really prefer controller on this game. So it seems like you can go either way to me. Okay, one boss done, many more to go. What do we got? So we might not end up taking the charms. Uh, grants 10% increased range damage. So your damage type depends here. So this is a melee weapon, so it should count as melee slash 
slash slashing damage it might only be slashing damage we got a rare body armor so grants plus 20 percent critical hit chance wow that's actually pretty good plus 10 percent increased melee damage hmm i don't know if that charm's actually gonna do anything so i i might be okay with this we lose our heart though if we take this body armor glass cannon to the rescue i make no promise we'll do well i should say now we have to put it on we lose a max health from moving that, but that's a, that's not the end of the world. We look just 100% naked, by the way, now. <laughs> okay. I wasn't expecting that. Getting a new weapon is uh, really important. It takes priority. And there's a lot of secrets in this game. I say secrets, but maybe they're not that secretive, but it's enough to where there's a lot that I don't know. And I might just give not great info on it because like i was like i've been saying the whole time this game can go pretty deep so here we get to pick from one of three weapons we got a sword slash melee you can see the different scaling that they have so it scales with strength and intelligence c rating so not amazing it's also a plus one it's uncommon so that's only one step above the lowest our current weapon stinks though it's a common weapon only scales with strength right now our strength is eight, our intelligence is zero. The Flambege has a far range. Primary attack deals fire damage and inflicts scorch. And you can see there is a lot of explanation on the right of everything. But honestly, it's convenient, but you don't have to read it all if you don't want to. Just like, you know, the, if you want to do better, you'd probably, uh, you'd probably just read it as thoroughly as possible, right? Let's see, we got a pike. That's two handed, so that means I'd have to get rid of the buckler, which, which gives us one block. Block prevents one hit, and it refreshes at the end of each floor. So a floor is when you beat a boss and you move on after the boss, basically. I'm going to say probably not to that. Tomahawk. So it has a far range. It's very boring, though, I'll, I'll admit. Hmm. C and D scaling. How much dex do we have? We have four. Either way, we're probably not keeping these for long. We want to do the flam- and uh, the flam bird is two-handed, so I'm not going to do it. So is the pike. So yeah, I kind of- I've kind of quartered myself into doing uh, this. So it probably looks very similar. First gold? No, thank you. I don't know. The advice that I was given is that you pretty much just always take the stats, whatever stats are on offer, if they are on offer. Even like intelligence, we'd take just to max out our level as soon as possible. We have literally zero dollars, so we're not going to go to the shop. We'll just take some more bombs. Kind of has this Isaac theme going on where you get to spend the bombs and keys. You got to make sure you spend them at the right place. We go to this pawn shop to sell things, but we don't have much to sell. I think I'd rather go this way still. Okay, we're doing pretty good so far. It gets really challenging later. Don't, don't let this game fool you into thinking that it's like super easy. It can def it definitely has that broken build uh, type of ability though. Aha, we got a secret door. Let's head down into here. We got Ambrosia. I think that gives you plus one to your highest stats. So we got some more strength, I believe. Gain 100% increased stats from, from strength, but gain no stats from dexterity and intelligence. I don't know if I love it. You have 10 strength. Strength increases damage dealt by weapons that scale with strength. Additionally, strength grants more damage dealt, equip, load, capacity, potentially other stats. Hmm. Grenade, yeah. During combat, periodically trigger your on bomb effects and throw a grenade at the nearest enemy. It explodes. On combat start and on taking damage, perform a war cry that taunts all enemies in the room. What does taunt do? Is an emotion debuff that makes target that makes target take 35% more damage at close range and last for eight seconds. He's kind of stank. Hmm. I feel like they kind of stink. I'm not in love with beef. If we take the beef, then we lose out whatever dexterity gives us, which I believe 5% increased attack speed, 2.5% increased movement speed, plus any future amount that we may get. We will get more equipment load and more damage dealt as total. Hmm. You kind of wind up with enough equipment load that I wouldn't normally be worried about it. Warcry just kind of seems stinky. And combat start triggers also trigger when bosses enter phase two. Guess I'm going to take Warcry, but I don't love it. Not one bit. 
I'm going to take the dice. They allow us to reroll different things. I may forget to move, uh, oh, use them, I should say. Boink, 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 boink. Grants two keys. We have no keys, so that sounds good. Different dice reroll different things. Let's open it up. So the one that we do have allows rerolling offered traits. Okay. Rerolls offered items from shops, armories, and boss rewards. Allows you to exchange a trait with a random new trait. Oh! So I can use that on the last one we got because it was pretty bad, right? I haven't gotten anything from Boozer yet either. We need money and we need to go to the tavern. Ah, now I'm nervous. Goodbye, Warcry. Welcome to close combat. On the tally of five primary attack hits at close range, mark the enemy with fighter's mark. Crap. Let's see, we can get a helmet or we can get a charm. I'm sure we'll get another helmet later. So we'll guarantee the charm for now. Okay, my friend. Oh, oh I got hit. It's okay. Our block took care of it, so it's not a big deal. We get it after the boss fight. Oh, no! I accidentally went the wrong way. I'm coming for you, buddy. Lost my soul heart and porch. Oh, oh, you scared me. Gotcha. All right. Ugh. The runs are kind of long. It depends how much you want to think about things. And I'm kind of a noob, so it probably takes me like a solid hour. But you could definitely do it faster. Quite a bit faster, even. Let's see. This is an offhand. It's a quiver. All damage from your bow and crossbow attacks? No. No, 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 no. Grants plus two stamina. Stamina determines how many dashes you have. No to that. What do you got here? Plus 10% increased magic damage. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, these are all pretty terrible. Oh, let's uh, roll them. Right? I didn't forget. Okay, let's roll it. What else you got? Is it still going to guarantee to offer me a charm? Apparently it might have. Let's double check. Assassin's Hood. This is a helmet. Grants plus 10% critical hit chance. Fatal Fate. If you have the if you have the set. Ailments afflicted by critical hits have 100% increased effect. What is that? That is plus one armor. Armor is just kind of... It's similar to health. You can just restore it. But it's restored in a separate way. Hmm. This is like a little tempting to go for this. When we already have this chest piece here. All right, what does the charm do? Grants plus five to resell value of items. Oh, I feel like that's not good. So maybe I should just take this. And if we can get the assassin gloves, that'd obviously be fantabulous. Our current crit chance is 25%. So we're big on the crits. Law shop. Okay, I don't know what this is. I have no idea what this is. Consumable. Grant stamina surge on consumption. Cost seven souls. Souls are a different currency that is a bit more specific. I don't... I This is where I'm kind of confused. Plus one lawful. Uncommon accessory on entering a floor makes the rewards offered after defeating the boss offer plus one choice. Okay, that was confusing the way they put it, but I think I understand. Our current ring just gives us plus one max health. I'm not really convinced that chance ring is really worth. Refills our flask. We haven't used a flask yet. Restores one health. Can I go back? I cannot go back. How are you? I welcome you, traveler. The shadows have been quieter lately. The essence flows differently. What's the disturbance? We don't know. All souls you spend here whisper directly back to the shadows. Creepy. So it's like an additional shop? There used to be like a true ending to the game if you went through some of those doors. Plus one dex, plus one intelligence. Okay. What the heck are those? Party poppers? What are those? Never seen those before. Is that an enemy? Okay. Doo -doo -doo. Contains uncommon weapons. Our weapons are still kind of mediocre. I'm okay with looking at new ones. Ooh, yeah, this one has a special, uh, what do you call it? 
Buff enhancement. Enhancement plus 10% increased damage. That's what the fierce is. We'll try it. Oh, it's two handed. Mm. This is not two handed, but the scaling is terrible. Okay. Intimidates on hit. Motion debuff that makes non bosses take 30% more damage and bosses take 15% more damage. Lasts for eight seconds. Either way, we're not keeping them for long, really. So I lose the block if I put on something two handed. I don't know. I'm kind of curious. Uh, what does this look like? Gotcha. It swings a little faster, I think. Actually, I'm not so sure. Give me more dice. You will get higher rarity weapons the further in you go. Higher rarity items in general, I should say. I get hit? No, not quite. Woo! More dice. More strength sounds good. Short range weapons works with that one trait that we have. I'm looking for a tavern to get some booze going on. I don't really remember exactly what they all do, though, off the top of my head. Strength, very good. Pawn shop to sell stuff. <sighs> we're still kind of broke. And, and we're broke and we only have two items to sell, which is not a lot. So I think I'm going to try to hold out. Uh, we lost our block. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Got him. Arcade, try your luck. I'm going. Gamble. Come on, give me some money. Ho ho. I got some bombs, right? Oh, the tavern's there. Oh, that also. Oh, crap. Oh, wait. I guess I destroyed the arcade. Well, I guess that works. Grants one to two bottles of booze for free. Then we might as well go that way because that's the main point, I believe of me going to the tavern. There's other things that can happen. There's other NPCs and stuff that you can talk to there to do some different things, but... Two boozes for free sounds pretty good. Well, one to two, I should say. We got two! Adds one tipsiness, grants wine on consumption. Wine is a stackable booze buff that grants 40% increased damage over time. Ooh, that's not good. That's not really what we want. Plus one tipsiness. Well, we got two buffs of it. Well, hopefully we'll get better better buffs later on. We, I don't think we have any damage over time right now. If I can find some... Like, burn or something, I guess we can try to have it. At least for a bit. Where'd you go? Plus one strength. A set item. Maybe we can get the Assassin's Glove. We don't want a magic weapon anyway, right? All right, my friend. It's a Guardian B. We're kind of falling off in terms of, like, damage and stuff now. Like, we started off decent enough, but... We're good. Watch out for the bees. Behave. Gotcha. All right. We're doing good. Not bad. Help me out. I mean, the assassin gloves. Those do not look like assassin gloves. Later, Hosen. <laughs> On triggered lucky hit, shoot a beer mortar at the target, dealing blah, blah, blah damage. Grants plus 10 to max tipsiness. Oh, my. We have to have three pieces. That could be crazy for us, though, right? What else you got? That's terrible. This is an accessory. Our current accessory gives us plus one health, max health, grants plus four seconds of duration to mana star buff effect. No, that's for, like, magic weapons. You don't have to worry about that. So either way, we're picking up the later Hosen. On non-triggered lucky hit, shoot a beer mortar. Sounds like I don't want that right now. So we only need two out of three pieces, potentially. So we're just going to hold on to that for a while and see if we can get that. 
and get a bunch of drinks in us too, I guess. I don't even know what our max t tipsiness is. Let's see. Let's see if we can find out real quick. Tipsiness stacks two. I don't see anything about there being a max. All right. Let's get another key here. Okay, I already lost my block. I was not expecting all that. Okay, and I took another hit. What is all this junk in the room going off here exactly? Jeez. Get set stash? Set item stash, I'd rather. Uh, I'm gonna say it's worth it. I mean, I don't know what the odds are of getting one of the sets that we actually already have pieces to, but the tough choice there. Help me! What do you got? Hey, we got it already! Grants plus 2.5% lucky hit chance per stack of tipsiness, currently 5%. Okay, so that means we're going away from the crit. Which is kind of too bad, but this might be more fun anyway. Plus, the outfit looks way cooler, right? Oh, rare weapons. Yes, please. Maelstrom plus 2 potent, plus 25% increased top end damage. Deals cold damage. Wielding this weapon increases your movement speed by 20%. It is also one-handed. Better scaling, too. Not bad. That is two-handed. Hmm. I'm gonna say probably not to that. Also two-handed. Inflicts bleed. What gives us increase? Oh, the wine gives us increased damage over time effects. So jagged sickles would help with that, I guess. I'm going to use one of our healing flasks now. I guess I'm going to go with the flail. Maelstrom, rather. Seems pretty good. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> the range is so short. Okay, it seems like it kind of widens or something here. It is very distracting from a visual noise perspective. All right, the set bonus is on. We just need to find more booze now. We don't want a magic weapon. So we need like increased, increased attack speed might increase the speed here or something. I don't know. We can find that. Blacksmith, it allows us to upgrade our weapon. We're kind of broke, but I'm still gonna go. I believe we can get it up to plus three. Ooh, more booze. I don't think you'll repair the block here, right? You do not. Okay, so Maelstrom is plus three. That's the max that it can be, basically. Can you buy... Oh, I'm kind of... I don't have enough money to go to the tavern, really. So now we only got ten gold. We should have plus ten to our tipsiness stacks. More wine? Are you kidding me? Something else must exist out there, right? Oh my god. We really need dot damage then. Bratwurst. Plus one strength, minus one intelligence. I don't even know if I have a single point of intelligence anyway. No jokes, please. Oh uh ho! -huh. Anything that works with tiptiness could be good. Reduce global tally threshold requirements by one. Additionally, reduce global tally requirements further per maximum point of block that you have dear god on non-triggered lucky hit trigger a blessed hammer that deals 184 non-triggered hits are hits that come from attacks that are not triggered themselves you kind of lost me we deal a critical hit or a ruthless hit gain a berserk Current crit chance is only 5%. This kind of makes sense with some of our stuff, maybe? It might be a roll. Because this kind of has something here, right? So we have plus 10% lucky hit chance on non-triggered lucky hit. Hmm. It's a bit confusing. Hmm. 
Lucky hits rolled two times for critical hits. Uh, does that just make sense for us, even if it doesn't do a whole lot right now? Hmm. Primary attack spins a flail that deals some cold damage. This is a tough one. Gain Berserk. What does that do? Is an emotion buff that grants you 20% more attack and move speed for 8 seconds. Yeah, I don't know. Give me that, I guess. One body armor, no. One charm, yes. We can't really change our body armor, you know? Bonk, 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 bonk. Okay, don't get hit by stupid things. One. Nobody can know. Hey, buddy, where'd you go? All right, don't hit me, though. Oh, that was incredibly close. It's very easy to mess up dashing. Uh, and you dash into the wrong thing, you know? I guess is what I'm getting at. Don't mind me if I'm incapable of talking while playing here. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, we live. Not by a ton, though. Thank you very much. Bam, bam. Ooh, I see an epic. Kind of epic. Plus one revive on defy death and on revive gain second wind. The buff that grants a 50% increased attack, movement, and orbital speed and lasts for one room. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. What's this do? 25 increased damage dealt to fiends. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the thing that gives us an extra death defiance, basically. We have one from some uh, meta progression. I should mention that we do have meta progression in this game. Guess I'm still going to go to the law shop here. Once per room on spending gold, grants 10 to 20 souls. No. These are pretty cheap, but don't really need them. So I guess we'll keep going. We have a lot of stuff to pawn now. Let's see, another set item, because yeah, we could get another... the third piece for this, even though we don't have to have it. Here, that are just a golden chest. We go either way here, kinda. Yeah, I mean, our offhand ain't great, I guess. Maybe we just want the golden chest? I'm not sure, really. Try not to get hit by things. Okay, we're okay. Not worried at all. Just gave me a bunch of bombs. Well, that's stupid. Gotta spend the key to get one dexterity now. Oh my god. Oh. Scary. Grants one resin. Resin is like a temporary buff. Typically for the weapon, I think it usually gives it an element. Oh, if we get like fire, that would be really good with all the stupid wine stacks that we got, right? Wonder what ice actually does. Crystal Pine Infusion grants cold damage. Damn it. Can we sell it? Because I already deal cold damage on. What's cold damage to? Chill is a cold ailment that reduces movement speed by 25% for eight seconds. Okay, we got to pawn all the things. You have no use for it. Whatever, dude. Okay, go ahead. We got to sell all this stuff. I don't think I'm ever going to need it. All the crit things. Maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea, but it just seems like... gonna be more worthwhile to do that let's go to the shop might not buy anything here plus one int plus one strength a mini b it's a gun it's not really what we're doing here Ooh, booze uh i'll take the fish and chips i'm not gonna buy the key booze 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 oh my god Ooh. what is the what okay just to be clear 
There are more than one type. There's more than one type of booze in this game. Wine is not the only type of booze. I swear the blacksmith doesn't do anything. Because I can't upgrade this weapon anymore. It's already at plus three. I guess I'm getting some bombs then. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I accidentally took a hit. Do I have any flash charges? I do. I'm going to do the event. Booze? As pl plus one tipsiness grants whiskey. Stack more booze buff that grants 10% increased attack speed and adds one tipsiness. Yoink. Nothing else in here. It just gives me one whiskey. That's it. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. That's it, though. Really? Just that I'm a little... Oh, wait. Search the bed. Yes. Aha. What, what do we got? Oh, we got more booze. Grants beer. 20% increased damage. Let's go, baby. There's the bed. Yes. Nothing there. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Last one. What do you got hiding in your bunk? Aha. Is that more beer? Woo. So now we got nine stacks of tipsy. We have no boots. So I guess I'm going to go into the boot category here. All right, bud. The jousting champion. I hate this guy, actually. I feel like I stink against him. Oh, it's fast. Oh my god, I got lucky that they didn't count that as a hit. Woo! I hate that move. I hate it. Oh, no way. Okay, we're cool. Now what? Don't get touched. Oh my god, I got so lucky. Woo! Not again. We got took another hit. <sighs> Didn't breathe for the last 30 seconds there. That guy's tough. He's rough. What do you got for us? Help me out, would ya? Demolition boots on dropping a bomb gain swiftness. How does swiftness do? It's movement speed buff. So like a bomb build? Plus 20% increased attack speed with instrument weapons. I assume this is not an instrument. Seems unlikely I would find an instrument as well. Flare mantle. Has to do with burn. These are all bad. I mean, I get I mean I get some Oh wait, let's roll, let's roll, let's roll. Have I been forgetting my rolls? Probably. Upcoming room rewards? Yeah. What do you got for us? Offered trait selection also. Could change a trait that we have here. I don't know if I want to. Okay, what do you got here? Rhythm anklets. 10% increased move speed. Ugh. Ooh, a new offhand. Plus one block slowly recharges block each time you enter a room. That is a better version of our current shield. So, probably? Plus, it's epic. I bet it looks cooler, too, you know? Okay, onward we go. So, we get block back a little more, a little bit more now. I guess we'll go this way. Uh, I don't like this. There's a lot of stuff to look at. I think I took a hit. The flail definitely makes me struggle with uh, how I'm viewing. Yeah, we kind of need the flask refill here. Please don't make it difficult for me to see. Uh, okay. I 
think we're good. That was scary. All right, let's heal. Rare weapons? We could look. I mean, we don't have to stay, stay with this weapon, you know what I mean? It's pretty decent, though. I guess I'm thinking we got a decent chunk of money here. We got the Happy Demon Blade, plus 10% lucky hit chance. Interesting. On kill, gain Demon Rage. The buff that grants 100% increased attack speed with the Demon Blade and lasts for 4 seconds. Short range. Has better scaling. Hmm. It's not bad. It's very quick, too, it sounds. Cannon ranged. Probably not. Unicorn spear. Lovely. This weapon gains 100% lethal hit chance with lucky hits. Lethal hits deal double damage. It means I have to take the shield off. If I do that. I'm kind of scared. You know what I mean? I'm scared. We'll probably try a new one. This one's not that good. So wait, there's nothing here that has a dot on an, on it, does there? Explosion damage. Short range on the Happy Demon Blade. Hmm. Happy Demon Blade. Okay, I see. I see what we're working with here. How much intelligence do we have currently? Still zero. Lovely. Okay, let's keep it that way. Oh, we got the charge back. Uh, we got the increased attack speed. Woo! Contains equipment. Actually, oh, I have no keys. Crap. Oh, wait, there's an X here. I think that means there's a secret. I was looking for a scapegoat here. Grants plus one XP. Okay, you can use that now. Sure. All right, let's get our level. Hmm, got the Blessed Hammer again. Grants two Ancestral Spear companions. Ancestral Spirits attack for blah, blah, blah damage. Each spirit grants 10% increased melee attack speed. On lucky hit, gain cheap shot, increasing secondary attack. Damage one second cooldown. Our current weapon has no secondary attack. Still, unfortunately. Non-triggered lucky hit. Hmm. None of these are good, really, I feel. I already have one companion. I'm kind of... The companion thing, like, kind of loses me a little bit. Let's roll it. On lucky increment, all of your active tally counters by one. Grants plus 10 power per actor in the room. Actor? Beef. Probably not beef, still. We do lucky hit a lot. We got a lot of lucky, and it's only going to go up, it seems, too. Should I roll these rewards, I wonder? Because I have no key still. Uh, booze, booze, booze. Okay. Oh, no, I took another hit. Cool. Dang, that short range. Ugh. Whiskey. Go to the shop? Okay. All right, 10 tipsy. Plus one strength. We kind of need the flask recharge. I'm looking at what's ahead. Probably go to the shrine. Oh, wait, we could upgrade the happy demon blade. But it means I shouldn't buy the burger if we want to do that. Hmm. How much does that cost? Eight gold? That's too much, too. Is Happy Demon Blade that good? I don't think I actually want to upgrade the Happy Demon Blade. I don't think it's that good. Give me Burger. Give me Dex. Therefore, we can skip that place. It might be better than the Flail for now. Ah, oh, fuck. No! Did I use my flask already? I did not. Uh, Fortune Blessing is a shrine. The status effect that grants plus one luck and lasts for 60 seconds. Stop getting hit. We got recharged there, thank god. 
Whoa, friends. Okay. Body armor. We'll go for the pair of boots potentially here. Okay. What's that crap on the left? Oh. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I like this guy. Oh my god, I got not lucky, actually. Thought I got lucky. Ah! Come on, Poseidon. Oh my god, why do your attacks confuse me? Oh! Didn't expect you to do this. Okay. Woo! Come on, die. Oh, once again, close shave. We still got both reses somehow. Don't ask me. Ugh. Deep breathing here. What do you got? Damaging hits that deal cold damage grant swiftness plus 20% move speed. Uh, so, I mean, that would work with the flail, but it's still not that good, right? Who cares about move speed? Well, I guess it does kind of do something. Grants increase damage dealt to dragons. Helmet. When when an orbital completes a full rotation, gain a stack of satellite support. Stackable butt. The grants 20% increase of damage per attack. Uh, so the flail is an orbital, for instance. It's interesting, but then that means I have to give up the tipsiness things that we got going on. So that's a no. Yeah, the ice skate's like, I don't, I just don't think it's that big of a deal. Oh, should, could I have rolled these? I could have rolled them, right? Yeah, maybe I should have too. Oh, well, what can you do? I tried. So we can see we can, we're only on floor seven. There's still much to go though. Random tome? What the hell's a tome? I actually don't know. I don't think I know. Buddy. Please die. Thank you. Okay, what are these? Replaces a trait with bloody knuckles. Your hits with body damage inflict bleed and trigger your on taking damage effects. Your hits with body damage? What the hell is body damage? All the weak enemies take increased damage equal to the reduction of their move speed. I don't really want to replace anything. Not with these, at least. Your hits with the body damage. What is it talking about? Damn it, how'd you do that, buddy? Please kill something. Oh my god. Is the flail better right now? It might be better right now. Get the flail out! I think the flail might be, might be better. It's just too short range, the other one, you know? Treasure rock? I need money. The flail has, like, way better range and stuff. Uh, the orbital speed will get affected by attack speed as well. Pawn shop? Yeah, we can go there and sell some stuff. Think they'll let me sell the stupid stuff? No. It's too bad, huh? Wait, what, what the hell does this do? Oh, I never used this? Okay, go ahead and use it, I guess. So the tomahawk. Yes. So this crappy thing. Yes. Warrior stash? Hmm. I do have a key. Kind of broke. Do some uh, dice here. Fish and chips, huh? I guess. Ooh. Might be wind up using the flail for like the rest of the run. It really doesn't make sense when we have so many stacks of wine, though. You know what I mean? Resin, blacksmith, 
Those are terrible too. Roll it. Hold. I'm gonna say no. Ooh, meat shank. Meat shank. Kind of don't have to worry about aiming when I'm using the flail either, right? I just got to make sure I'm holding down the button. <laughs> Simple as that. Shazam! Plus three strike. While you have a mark reward, your primary attacks at far range gain 100% lethal hit chance. While you have a mark reward... On dash, gain full stacks of Tailwind and trigger your on-combat start effects. Stack them both, that grants 5% increased attack speed and orbital speed per stack. If they're not taking damage for one second, gain focus might deal a guaranteed lethal attack. Oh, after not attacking. No, I think that was bad. This one's okay, I think. Up to four stacks. Tavern! Get that booze. I could also get some healing, too. Uh, what does rum do? Plus 10% lucky hit chance adds one tipsiness. No more wine. Uh, I'm going to guess I should just probably just do beer. I can get more, right? Oh, guess I can. How much can I drink exactly here now? We're up to 12 stacks. I don't know what the max is. More beer, please. We're down to five monies. I mean, if I overlap the wine, that's fine. 13. Okay, so 13 is apparently the max. Oh, I can't afford that. Crap. Hmm. Grants one key. Wrath Potion? Hell no. Alchemy Stash to get potions? No? What else we got? Consumables? Okay. Let's go that way. So we got the max stacks of tiptiness. I guess we can just exchange the wine now, and then we don't... Eventually, right? That way we don't have to worry about getting... Dot effects, since we're struggling there. We'll just get a bunch of beer. Grants plus one soul heart. Repairs all armor points. Grants three items. Just a bunch of bombs. I, I'll take the soul heart now. At least one pair of boots. I still don't have any boots. Oh, look at that cute little walrus. Commander walrus, even. Where is he gonna be? Okay, walry. Scared the juice out of me over here. Ah, uh, damn. Jeez. Holy God. Woo! As you can see, they're kind of lenient. After you do a dash. You can't get hit by like a lot of stuff for like a solid second or two. Maybe not as maybe not a second or two, half second really. But it's more lenient than the average game, I'd say. Alright, it's hard to get close to this guy. Oh my god! Revived! Kill him! Uh, there goes one res. Ooh, that was rough. Man, that guy's tough. We still have five stacks of wine, keep in mind. Oh my goodness gracious me. Grants 50% increased orbital speed while moving. Yo ho 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 ho, baby. Yo ho 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 ho. Done. Yo 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 Grants 50% increased effect of lightning ailment status effects. No? Two keys. I guess I'll buy a couple of keys here then. Onward. Floor 8. Uh, yeah, we'll try to replace the wine again still, right? Seems to make sense to me. 
Nice, we got whiskey. Very good. Anything but wine, really. 10% increase attack speed. Slowly but surely. Let's get more stats. We could start considering a new weapon, but now we also got something that buffs orbitals. Which is pretty dang good, right? I think I can do without that stuff. Definitely don't need bombs. Can't roll anymore. I guess we're going for golden chest. Okay, my friends. Come on, die, please. Any second. Thank you. Just some bombs and stuff. First treasure rock. No, definitely not. Oh, I blocked it. Okay, we'll go for the event. Hmm. Sleep in the red bed. This probably has to do with stats because it's red, green, blue. I've never seen this one. Could work? I would hope. Oh, it restored health. You feel well rested. Permanently gained plus one heart container. Yo! I like that, actually. It looks like we got our revive back. Maybe I had already gotten it back. Restored our health. Gave us an extra max health. That's beautiful, actually. That's what we need now. Honestly, I think. Look at that beautiful defense. Holy God. Wah. Very nice. A melee weapon. Does this thing count as melee? It does. Well, I guess if I'm going to go to a chest, it might as well be this one, right? We're getting pretty late in the run, so we could get... something useful since we should there should be higher rarities what the hell is that that's terrible guaranteed one epic item guaranteed one set item well i don't want to replace the roller skates at least not right now i guess i'll go for the guaranteed epic We're already at the next boss by the way okay bud please be kinder than the last boss Oh, this is actually a kinder pattern. <laughs> okay, yeah, do that again. Something tells me you are not going to do that again. Oh my god, what just happened? I don't even know. Oh, I tried the dash. It didn't work out. Okay. Where is he? Oh, got him. Oh, way easier than Commander Walrus. Can we agree? Ooh. Way easier. Remember, you have a roll for this. Is that a shield? I think it's a shield. Plus one block, plus three armor. Kind of tempting here. It weighs a ton, but it doesn't matter because we have like no equip load here. France plus 10% lucky is a helmet now. That's a helmet now. Uh, I think it might be better. You can restore armor other ways. I don't know. This this recharge has blocked a lot, though. It really has. So maybe I should just roll these. It's because it seems like it's doing pretty good, right? That's a tough choice. Accessory, as your invincibility duration after taking damage to the duration of your status effects. The hell does that mean? I don't, I, all I do is apply cold, if anything. Our current accessory gives us plus one health. I don't think that's actually good for us, but we'll take it to sell potentially. Well, those were terrible. Can we agree? Floor number nine. Plus one boof. Boop. Boop. Please die. Thank you. Bloody chest. Or blood chest, I should say. Nah. Cost health to open. No thanks. Please don't hit me. If you ask nicely, it won't happen. Okay. 
Epic weapons. Okay. Show me something new here, baby. That's a wand slash magic. That's what I say to that. Lucerne. Lucerne, you say. Armor break. On the tally three primary attacks, that's a special secondary attack that deals 621 to 1286. Striking damage. This weapon has 100% crushing hit chance with striking damage. Scales better, too. So it means orbitals are bad now. Dragon Slayer Bow. This weapon has 100% lucky hit chance against dragons. I'm going to say no to that, probably. This has a far range, too. It's a plus three. Oh, no, it's two-handed. My arch nemesis. Is that a no, then? I think it's a no. I think it's a no. If you take this off, it creates a problem. The attunement thing. You have to, like, wear it for a while to get the, the use out of it or something. Yeah, I think we can't take it. We can't put it on, rather. Okay, can something die out here? Okay, thank you. This might be our last level, I'm not sure. Point to end. Thrusting damage from you and your companions inflicts a stack of puncture. God, that'd be amazing, but it's not thrusting damage, is it? Just straight up cold damage. Two-handed melee weapons count as one-handed and allow for wearing an off-handed item. Whoa! You're coming back. Getting a stackable debuff that has plus five. Adds plus five to five physical and nature damage taken per stack. We can now try out our weapons. All right. Plus, we have like a ton of lucky hit chance, right? Plus 32.5%. I think, I mean, that that's a lot, I believe, in the realm of this game. We can certainly try it now, at least. The range does feel a bit shorter, and I have to actually aim toward the enemies. Okay. Grants plus 5 XP. Well, that doesn't do anything anymore. Dispels a stack of curse. I probably couldn't tell you what curse does exactly uh drop the xp we can get rid of the curse now applies a random enchantment modifier to the weapon the flail already has one right potent yeah okay then we'll do it on lucerne what do we got we got arcane plus 0.1 mana drain Okay, armor break is a debuff that makes armor take 100% more damage and last for 4 seconds. Okay. Go to the shop. We don't need the mage thing. Did I pick up anything else? I thought I did. Repairs all armor. We have no armor still. To the shop. We got charms for sale. Equip load we don't care about. What's this now? Unlucky hit gains swiftness, so it just ups our move speed. Eh. Grants 10% increased elemental damage and plus 5% lucky hit chance. Okay. These cost souls? Sure. I have one more charm slot left, I guess. Set item, I guess I'll go for it. So now we don't care about orbital stuff, so we're kind of looking to replace the booties. I suppose now, right? Die, 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 die. The hell is that? Wyvern armor. All enemies are considered dragons. Plus one suppression. Prevents one hit of damage taken only during boss fights. Refreshes per floor. Broccoli. Oh, should I even be going for stats now that we can't gain levels? Uh, depends on the stat, I guess. I think for this it's fine. But this much for three decks, I think so. At least one helmet. This one ranged weapon. Neither of these really matter. Guess I'll do the one that doesn't cost me a bomb. I don't think we care about either of those, though. Woo! 
Okay. Where'd you go? Ugh. Oh, no. Yo, how do you have so much health, hun? Why don't you take any damage? Oh, crap. I don't have the flail equipped. I used a res. <sighs> okay, anything I can do? Really? Nope. Not a whole lot. Just don't mess up. Oh my god. No way, man. Oh, I used my last res again. What are you doing now? Ugh. Once I can get in there, it's just so hard to keep within range, you know? Use both my resies. Something was giving me a res. What the hell was that? Use silk gloves. That was scary. <sighs> so we don't want helmets. Plus one armor. We don't really want this either. 25% orbital speed. Back to the flail we go. Okay, equip the two weapons that are good, please. Yo, 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 yo. Can you give me some health or something? Wrath potion. 10% crit chance. Grants 10% increased damage depending on how lawful you are. How lawful are we? Where do I see that? Uh... Oh, here it is. Not very. Luck potion. Inventory full, though. Drop these two things. Your hits with body damage. Yeah, I don't think I care. This is a charm. Increased damage to dragons. That might be better. Get rid of the elemental one. It's the luck potion. I have no armor. Okay, it's fine. Floor number nine. No, I'd rather floor number ten. This is normally the final floor. But there turns out there's some like secret stuff. If you get far enough. Go, my flail. Save us. Uh -huh. Dragon Slayer Stash contains a weapon. Uh -huh. What are the odds of me finding a useful weapon at this point? What are our rolls looking like? Change a trait with a random new trait. What do you think? Second wind? Step of the wind even? What do we get? Gain increased stats from your companions based on how many companions you have. That's not good. <laughs> okay, go this way. I don't know. Oh, golly. There's so many things. Oh, we got a trap door here. Oh, we got the secret shop. Illegal Executioner Sword. It's only uncommon. I won't bother reading it then, honestly. So the scaling's bad. Also only uncommon. Railgun. Oh, well, that's fun. Plus 15% critical hit chance. Yo, look at all that scaling. Kind of sounds fun. Cost 34 gold. I can actually equip... Uh, Yeah, I can afford it too. No, that's useless. 10% increased damage to bosses. Periodical, no. These cost souls. No. Accessory. The chance of lucky luck and curse taking effect are both zero. That's horrible. 
Luck and curse are equal to the greater of the two values. That's also horrible for us. The railgun kind of sounds badass, you gotta admit, though, right? It's two-handed. Wait, what's my trait say exactly? Two-handed melee weapons count as one-handed. This is not melee. So I think I, I think with I think for that fact I have to say no. We're just not the right build for it. Want a cigarette? Triggers your on taking damage effects upon consumption. Heck no. I don't smoke. Thanks. What's your deal? Oh, we can uh, sell stuff to this guy too. Yes. Ooh, like, dang, you actually sell. You can sell for quite a bit here too. For all the money we got now. It has no value to you. I don't think I have a curse right now. Let's double check that. Get some consumables here. What did I just buy? Oh, something stupid. Okay, I shouldn't have bought that last item. Now I mistake. Set item stash grants plus one heart when bombed. Let's go this way. Oh! My shield took a damage. No! Damn it, dude. Okay, I got a health back too. Refills one flask. I don't think consumables include booze. Pretty sure. <sighs> okay. Plus two soul hearts when bombed. Yes, yes, yes. Kind of forgot I was going to have to fight enemies there for a second. Dude. Perish. Ugh, we're doing good. Okay, we're fine. Not worried. We got plenty of money. Let's go this way. Help me. Help me. Epic companion. So I'm a tiger cub companion. Each tiger cub grants plus 80% melee crit chance. Whoa, what? We're replacing our old friend finally. Agility potion. Increases move speed. Spider is a companion. Another companion, huh? 100% increased damage with lucky hits. Wait. That's pretty good for us, huh? Is that what we want instead? Out. Because we get a lot of lucky hits. That's what I would think. Whereas, what is our crit really here? Where does it say? Critical hits, 8% chance only. Look at all these stats, huh? Hmm. I'm looking for the lucky stuff. Luck, one. Lucky hit chance, 48%. First, zero. Yeah, I'm gonna guess the lucky stuff. Let's go to the tavern, buy some more booze, probably. I can also get some more healing. Let's do that first. Okay, we might be able to still beat this boss coming up, at least. So we want beer to get rid of the- to purge the wine, right? What does Rum do one more time? 10% lucky hit chance. Okay, so maybe we should go for that? Now? Ah, crap. I accidentally bought beer. Okay, good enough. Drink up. Wait, it's going up. It's 15 now. Now what happened? So I still have two stacks of wine. How did that happen? Trying to get rid of all the wine here, basically. All right. So now we're a lucky hit chance. <laughs> what is it at now? 93%. Okay. Now we're cooking, baby. What does this thing do again? Oh, that's one of the companions. Gotcha. We definitely want the one that increases our lucky hit multiplier, though. What is this chamber? 
That was ridiculous, right? One final rest. Attune equipment? Sure. Uh, one charm, one melee. Yeah, whatever. It's death. You need to die. All right, buddy. I'm coming for you. I think you're so hot, huh? Uh, I'm not worried. Huh. That's one. Now he kind of stands still, if I remember correctly. Maybe not that still. But hopefully... Better than before. Okay, that's fine. Stand there. Okay. Ooh, baby! We got a res still, but there's more. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. I do think the game could probably benefit by having it. I The runs are long, right? Each point of strength additionally adds plus 10 to top end slashing damage of this weapon. The Zvai Henda. Plus 2. Uh, it is melee, so it, even though it's two handed. While wielding this weapon, your dexterity and strength equal the higher of the two values. We have way more strength than deck, so that's not so bad, huh? I don't know how worth it it is, though. And no to the pistol thingy. <sighs> Medium, far. The range is better on this Vihender. This one just kind of sounds better, too. Why don't we at least see what it looks like? It's plus two. I'm... I'd be shocked if it's better. Honestly, I would be shocked. The bowl is empty. So you can choose to go to heaven or... He okay, this is new to me. Honestly, I don't know. I'm going to heaven. Enter the gate to high heaven. Sure. This is new to me. <laughs> What's going on in here, you think? High heaven. Plus 5% increased damage with non-crits. We never crit, really, right? Unless, I don't think the lucky hits count as crits. Okay, heaven sucks. Uh, I'm cool. There's just so much stuff. It's kind of hard to tell how I feel. Plus 15% critical hit multiplier. Sure. What or what are you? It's like unicorns and crap. Probably got the never ending story dragon in here. We don't need equipment load. We'll take the highest stat, which is strength for us. Oh, oh, oh my golly. Gabriel, I'm coming for your ass. Lucky hit chance, I guess? Even though it's like incredibly high already. Maybe I should have just gone for the chest, honestly. We get some silly equipment, perhaps. More booze? No, I guess not. I guess I'll take the set item, even though it's unlikely that it would be helpful to us, it seems at this point. That was actually our last key. Durndil! Wait. Oh, that's the last thing! On non-triggered lucky hit, shoot a pretzel projectile to the target. That's actually the last bit, isn't it? Oh, wait. There's two different... Oh, there's two different ones. There's either Later Hosen or Dernal. 
So it's either we shoot a pretzel or we shoot a beer. It's the same thing as far as I can tell, though. So it doesn't matter. Oh, that's kind of disappointing. I can't tell if we actually have no crits, really. Our crit chance is low. We might have something going... Some kind of synergy going on where lucky hit equals more damage, though. Eh, yeah, let's just go this way. I see red popping up sometimes. I guess not all that often looking at it. Yeah, I probably should have taken it. Definitely the shop over the bombs. Stamina surge. Lasts for one room. 25% increased top end damage. I could try swapping that if we wanted. An offhand. Radiant damage. Nah, I guess I want the photon barrier. Um... Green Blossom. Use that for the boss room or some jazz? We've never been here, so... Death seems to pretty much always be the same. Whoa. It's wine, so we're not going to use it. Final rest! Tune? Sure. Getting this ready. At least one set item. It's another dragon! Can't let you proceed. It is my sacred duty. My decree is absolute. I had to do that very carefully. Aww. Oh, it's pushing me back. No, don't hit me. When do you stop? Oh, come on, dude! It's not fair! I have no range. Okay, just stand here. Can't tell if they're, like, somewhere. I don't think they were anywhere. <sighs> it's my fault. Oh, I got lucky. Did I not have a dash or something? Oh, they're coming back! I didn't think they'd come back like that. Ooh. Got scared. Dude, you got too many moves! I don't know. Oh, apparently I used my revive already. Oh, it's Bahamut, I just realized. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, get behind him. Is it working? It's actually working. Jeez. That's not fair. No panic. No one's ever done it, Bahamut. No one's ever done it, though. Crazy. Crazy stuff, isn't it? Oh, sweet. Sweet Moses. Okay. We put in a, we put in a jolly good attempt, at least. It was a good effort. There are potentially more floors after that. Mastery at level goes up. This is the skill tree. So they got things like you start with plus one additional health flask. You start with one soul heart. You start with plus one XP. It's all actually very different and kind of interesting things. First trait selection is always four traits. It's not boring stuff. It's not just add passive this or that. Gain one, one suppression against the floor. One, two, three bosses. I don't know about that one. Oh, the floor 10 boss. Uh, I'm trying to choose what we want here. This makes the first floors easier. Hmm. Assuming that you can max it all out because you can get up to 30. Legendary weapons are 15% less common. That I don't understand, honestly. Every armor con armory contains a weapon enchanted with a positive enchantment and one with a negative. Weapons and armories are never enchanted with a negative enchantment. 
Maybe we'll start with that and we'll get this one later on or something. Oh, I can swap. Oh, you can only have one or the other. Oh. I see. Interesting. But you can see all the different classes that we got going on here that have different things going on. So the one we had again, weapons gain 10% more base attack speed per upgrade level. And they're all going to have different things going on. Tiny robes. Love this game. Absolutely amazing. My one thing, I mean, it's really hard. It's a bullet heaven. Bull, no, bullet hell even, I should say, style game. So visual clarity is always going to be kind of difficult. And I tend to gravitate toward weapons that uh, make it easier to see personally. So like the flail made it kind of challenging, depending on the enemy projectiles. And I think the runs like... I wish that I, I, I personally like uh, like runs to be shorter. Obviously, I was taking my time and I was discussing a lot of different things, but I still feel like there's like a lot to go through to get to the end. And it feels like I've just seen so many things. The pacing is good in that you're not waiting or it feels like this room is wasted too much. You know what I mean? Uh, but just the overall real time, realistically, it's going to be a bit to finish a run. So. Tell me what you think. If you have played the game, haven't played the game, whatever you want to tell me, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.